Look who's back at it. Cause and static. It's the old fanatic. All right. Thursday evening, February 29th. I'll tell you right off the bat. This I haven't been haven't enjoyed this day for the last three years. Comes every once every fourth every four years, you leap year. So the 29th, you know, that's pretty uh, amusing. Imagine if you're born on the 29th. I mean, technically you get a year older, but that, that would be pretty awesome. If you are born on the 29th and four years later, hey, hey, I'm only two. Ah, uh, Fnatic's a little ornery, a little hostile. Little uh, fed up, little depressed. But I'm gonna try to teach you something. Eh, probably you'll probably laugh at my pain. Hopefully you won't. I won't make you cry. But um, a lot of things going on. You hear this stuff about uh, uh, magna maga gonna try to make people uh, humane society make stop people from having recreational sex. Because they want us to have more, anybody that's childbearing to have more kids so we can have more uh, workers in the future. I mean, what is going on in this country? Just leave well enough alone. I mean, there's too many people here as it is. I mean, you don't want abortion. Then you want, you, you have people that, don't want to have kids or can't afford to have kids or shouldn't have them. Believe me, I know people who shouldn't have them. And their kids are now, you know, 18, whatever, 20. They're a mess. I know a kid, you know, God, God bless him. I like him, but he's like 30. His parents didn't want him. Other people had to step in. God bless them. It's just, let the people decide what they're going to do. However, whatever the constitutions, whatever the laws are, be, obey the laws. I mean, everybody, you know, not everybody, but a lot of people break them. We don't drive 55. We don't drive 35. But unless you're going like 80 into 55, leave the people alone. I mean, just keep with the flow of traffic. And a lot of stuff, man. That, uh, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not Mr. Politics. And I don't, I don't, I usually, when I voted, I voted for the right person, for the, who I thought was the better person. A party didn't matter because all, that's, to me, that's all bullshit anyway. But in my opinion, there is no choice. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, champion for Joe Biden. But the other guy is just so, so, so corrupt and bad and so negative and praising Putin. And and then there's got to be the one guy that turned on, that turned evidence out of Mark Meadows. There's got to be, I mean, yeah, okay, he turned on evidence because he fired him. No, he was subpoenaed and he doesn't want to go to jail for what they did. He's going to get something. He's going to get some kind of punishment. But the trial keeps getting pushed back and pushed back. I mean, let's not go into political rate, uh, tirade here. But people, pull your head out of the ass. Do the normal, decent thing. Even if you don't think it's right, do the decent thing. Oh, man. And then you hear, uh, on the, uh, again, on YouTube, Google, wherever you get your information about Giselle and Tom Brady. There came out, it's coming out, rumor that she was, was having an affair or whatever, you know, relations with the jiu-jitsu instructor for the family. I mean, I don't know if it was Tom, with 
Tom was taking lessons, but the kids and Giselle. I mean, not, they're together now. So it kind of looks like, you know, would have smoked this fire. But you know what? They're both celebrities. And I mean, I seen all the comments. Oh, he's better off. But uh, let me tell you something. He might be better off and people are like, ignorant. Oh, she's going to get half. Hello? She's worth more and makes, has more money than him. I don't know how. I don't know who's stupid enough, a model agency or whatever. The The world we live in is screwed up. I mean, but she supposedly has more money than him. I feel bad for the kids. I granted they're all famous, they're rich, but... But then again, I'm not going to let you get slide off. Slide away that, slide by that easy, Mr. Brady. Because you did kind of the same thing when you left your pregnant girlfriend and got with Giselle. You know what? Karma's a bitch. And then I seen the comments. Oh, if he can't keep a girl, the average Joe. It's, it's different situations. I mean, yeah, you feel bad. I mean, I feel felt bad for him. Everybody's like, oh, he looked despondent, he looked, you know, skinny, you know, he looked, had a lost look in his eye. Yeah. He, he even if he loved her, but he couldn't believe what happened, he, he's not going to be f with his family, like, on a full-time basis. I mean, there's a lot of divorced people. I'm divorced. I felt the same way. The ki The kids... You got to be there for the kids and make the, you know, it just ain't, it just ain't working out between the mom and dad. I mean, it's tough. I wasn't, didn't do all the right things, but it is what it is. I mean, I felt bad and now you look back on it. Hey, we were, got together, whatever, and things went south, sour, whatever. I mean, granted, I mean, the it's a, a different philosophy or paths, you think different paths, you're, you know, change or whatever. I mean, I don't, the, the, having a guy break him up, if that's true, that's, I mean, I didn't experience that. I mean, who know? you know, I don't, you know, as far as I know, there was nobody else. I mean, eventually there was, and eventually there was somebody for me, but Whatever. I mean, that might be hard to take, you know, if you catch him. But it is what it is. I mean, my um, first long-term relationship, there was whispers. And then it seemed kind of obvious that she... But, hey, there's a lid for every pot. I mean, and, and again, they're famous, so that's, you know... He, he, who knows on the road if he had ladies, he just never got caught. But, you know, there are people are, oh, yeah, she ain't, she, she ain't a model because she's ugly. Do I think she's all that? No. But, I mean, people are writing, oh, my God, you know, he could do better. That's all, all, all superficial anyway, but, yeah, whatever. She either didn't make her a model and put her in magazines you know, she wasn't in fan, uh, Fandang, uh, Fangor or whatever, the horror magazines. She's an attractive lady. Is she my type? No. Um, is she everybody's? No. But come on. And he isn't everybody's either. When he first was in Michigan, he was, you know, chubby, lank, you know, chubby, kind of out of shape guy. I mean, he ain't ugly. He's been bad looking. But, again, a little, I'm a little ornery, a little, little uh, upset um, try to break the levity, uh, we had a couple, we did have a couple laughs at school today, I mean, me and my, uh, partner, partner in crime, gotta watch the inmates, um, he, he, he went over for three, yeah, all three of the big problems that he had, um, that he, kids that he really get under his skin, they all showed up, Ah, eh, you know, He's got a day off tomorrow. He's going to a wedding. Salute. Joy. Shit happens. 
But we had a couple laughs. We had a couple of kids. I mean, <laughs> the kid, the kid, this kid, this kid, one kid's everywhere. And we, you know, you joke, nobody wants him. And I'm like, yeah, that's probably why he never stays home. His parents don't even want him. Probably true. I mean, who knows? I mean, but he's definitely top of the most not wanted list. <laughs> Kid, man, these kids, these kids are all, all these kids are really, they're bad, I mean, and they're doing the same stuff that we did, you know, but then they're, they're really extreme to the point, they, I mean, they go overboard, I mean, yeah, I said, oh, the, the teacher don't like me, uh, the teacher's picking on me, the teacher's this, the teacher's that, every kid thinks that, but if the teacher has been teaching and has a book, and has the internet, and ha does the takes the time and does the research. Don't say the teacher's not teaching you, because you don't have to be. You don't have to be a teacher if you really want to learn from somebody. Close this, and open this. Focus. It's not that hard, folks. I mean, come on. I mean, I feel sorry for uh, female fanatic junior. She wants to be in child development, but she wants to be in early child development because I don't know if she can handle these kids. She's kind of like me. She might, you know, slip up and tell them, you know, but she'll be all right. She'll land on her feet. She's got a lot of spunk. You know who might have been a, might have been a. Uh, Candidate for a teacher for older kids is a smarty pants, the oldest. Because she's, you know, but then again, she might, these kids might get her, you know, upset her. So, and she's better off where she is. You know, she's doing fine. Her and her, her, and her husband been married for over a year now. A year and whatever, almost a year and a half. So, you know. Got to find the right person. Um, the picks came out, right? 2-0 two, oh, two last picks. If you were to put some money on them uh, Pelicans and those the Pistons, <laughs> you would have won you some green. Of course, the Fanatic threw another team in there. Greedy, you know, greedy son of a gun. And... But that's the way it goes sometimes. I mean, can't win them all. I just want to win one. I mean, again, I, I'm I'm in a in a iffy kind of mood. I don't want to, you know, you know. I've had my share of good times and bad times. I'm not going to say everybody, every fucking nothing ever went my because that ain't true. So, I mean, I made the wrong choices and had some, you know, unfortunate luck circumstances, but it is what it is. You can feel sorry for me or you can be like, ah, look at this jerk, ah, whatever, but subscribe to the channel again. I flip through and I see people, I mean, black and white sports, come on. I mean, lots of them, I don't even want to name them, just in general. One guy is really, really was really going after LeBron. Funny for a couple minutes, but then he really, you know, dug him. And it's only about one thing. I'm trying to give you a, a like we're talking. I mean, maybe it's not going to work, but... Give me a shot. Just give me a shot. Give, you already gave me a shot. Get, tell, tell your friends to give me a shot. I'm not, I mean, if every other one of them were good. Like the, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And comment down below if you want your opinion about something. All right, I don't want to go forever tonight. Like I said, if I promise you docking, I'm going to give you docking. Doc, and this isn't the first album. I don't have the first album. Breaking the Chains. I like the song Breaking the Chains, but I didn't like the rest of the album. And the sound, the, the 
recording the production wasn't up to snuff. It was on a different label. I mean, this tooth and nail, the, the one that ever broke them in, in, in the United States, don't really sound that great either, but the songs make you, I could put up with the production. I really liked um, Heartless Heart, When Heaven Comes Down. Everybody knows Alone Again, the ballad, or you probably know the Alone Again, the ballad. I liked um, Into the Fire, and uh, Bullets to Spare was one of my favorites. Eh, you know, it is what it is. Just got lucky. Every, some people probably know, but Tooth and Nail, Doc and Doc, Don Doc and George Lynch guitars, Mick Brown, Wild Mick Brown on drums, and Jeff Pilson bass and backing vocals. Believe it or not, Pil Pilson sounds a lot like Doc and and in fact, now he's a lot better, you know. Don's Under Lock and Key. This is my favorite docking album. Uh, in My Dreams, the It's Not Love. You guys heard those. Unchained the Night. I really, really, really like Jaded Heart. And... Uh, Lightning Strikes Again, Slipping Away, even though that's a kind of a ballad, not as, you know, it's kind of along the lines of Alone Again, but Under Lock and Key is my favorite docking album. Back for the Attack, Dream Warriors, the song from Dream Warriors 3, a lot of good songs in here. Uh, you, probably, you guys probably heard Burning Like a Flame, if you like rock. Heaven Sent, the ballad, of course. They had to put a ballad. So Many Tears is a good song. Kiss of Death. What a rocking song to start the album. And Cry of the Gypsies, good. That's a good one that I like. That's not, uh, that's a, like a hidden class gem. Mr. Scary, the guitar driven song. No instrumental from George Lynch. Good. Then they split up. Don Dockin put out a solo solo album, Don Dockin, Up From the Ashes. There's good songs on there, too. Mirror, Mirror, um, uh, The Hunter. There's a bunch of them on there. Just Don't Lie to Me. There's a lot of there's good songs on there, so check that out. Lynch Mob, of course, George Lynch. And he took Mick Brown with him. Uh, River of Love. Um, uh, Sweet Sister Mercy. There's a lot. There's good songs on the original Wicked Sensation. Wicked Sensation. That's another the title track. Um, then they got back together like four, five years, six years later. Dysfunctional. <laughs> Apropos title for them, but. It's a little different. I mean, it's a little, little bit of grungy and some docking, you know, docking does grunge and some that sound like the original, kind of like the original band, a little different. It's okay. I mean, it's worth listening to. Shadow Life is, that's the one that's all, that's not even sound, doesn't even sound like docking. That's, forget about that one. Then George left and they did... A Race to Slate with Rep Beach from Winger, Winger fame. This is a good album. If you like the original ones, the the up uh, under lock and key, tooth and nail. Check out this one. Check out Race to Slate. Then Rep Beach left, and Dokken had a bunch of other CDs. These are different. But they're good. It's a different kind of, more mellow, more structured. I mean, more, a little more serious, too. Not as many party anthem -y songs. Long Way Home, Sunless Days, a real, this, that was a big, it would have been a hit if this music was more popular when this came out. Little Girl, good song. Hell to Pay, another one. John Levine, this guy sounds, or Levin Levine, this guy sounds like George Lynch on the guitar. Mick Brown came back. Hell to Pays, uh, this is a, I mean, I, I'm going to go on out on the limb and say this is a little bit depressing, but 
it's if you're in that kind of mood, hell to pay is good. I mean, you got to be in the mood for it, but it's good. Then he tried to go back to how they sounded in the 80s. Lightning Strikes Again. Again, there was a song called that I told you about. I liked it. But this is a good album. This, this album will remind you of the original stuff with a little, you know, little more of a different vibe. The production sounds, this album sounds amazing. Um, pick that up if you want. Then they had another one out, Broken Bones. I listened to it on stream and I didn't, I didn't like it that much. So, and I didn't hear the new one, but I heard the sort of two videos the sample songs. They're good songs. Dawkins a good solid band. They were overlooked. They got lumped in with the hair metal, but Dawkins has a lot of good songs. If you like if you like those kinds of songs, Scorpions, check out Dawkins or revisit them. I know most of you that have connected with me know who they are. Revisit them, listen to the newer stuff, you know, make your own opinion. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to leave you with two picks quick. Um, take. Oh, man, my, my mind is slipping. Go with the Golden State Warriors, minus four over the Knicks. And take the Atlanta Hawks, plus one or one and a half, or just take them on the money line against the Nets. Um, I'm going to give you this quote from the late, great Kevin Dubrow. Times are changing. Nothing stays the same. And from the old fanatic, please always remember and never forget opinions. Except for mine, this guy, are like... Have a nice weekend. Talk to you next week. Fanatic. <whistles> Signing off.